Yoga Nidra is a systematic yogic relaxation process done in a very specific way. Please prepare for Yoga Nidra by lying down on your bed and adjusting your body position and your clothes until you are completely comfortable. Notice the way your arms feel, the space between your shoulders and your neck, the weight of your arms, the space between your arms and your side body, making sure that they feel even and symmetrical. Notice the position of your legs, making sure they feel even and symmetrical. Notice the weight of your arms and your legs. The weight from one side to the other should feel evenly distributed. In Yoga Nidra, there should be no physical movement. When we are completely comfortable, our body can relax and rest in the way that it deserves. Taking a moment to make sure you are completely comfortable. We begin by noticing the belly. Feel the belly let go and rise up like a mountain and then softly lower and expand and deepen like a lake. On an inhale, the belly releases and rises. On an exhale, it broadens and deepens. Feel the belly come loose and supple. Imagining the breath as medicine for the belly and all of your internal organs. Invite the belly to be nourished by the breath. Feel the spaciousness of the belly as it expands freely. Imagining it rising like a mountain and cascading like a deep lake. Begin to contemplate your breath. Feel the coolness of the breath as it enters the nostrils and the warmth as it recedes. Your body feels light and free with a sense of mental calm as everything that does not serve you right now releases into the earth. Your body is effortlessly smooth. The furrows in your face have softened. Your temples are soft. Your cheeks are soft. The inside of your mouth is soft. Your tongue is soft. The space between your teeth is soft. Your jaw is soft. And your chin is soft. You feel the muscles of your body letting go and becoming heavy. 
Your front body feels light as the breath is smooth and calm. And you experience a very deep and sustaining sense of peace. As your body becomes more and more heavy, like large stones, you feel more relaxed. You are in a dense forest. The trees are blocking out most of the light. There is a gray sky peeking through the branches. And as you walk and follow this path, you hear the sound of your footsteps on the leaf-filled earth, a crunching sound. You feel a softness of the forest floor under your shoes. It's chilly, it's a fall day, and there is a gentle breeze of coolness on your face. And as you continue walking, the path becomes a little bit more narrow. And a few times you have to make choices about which way to go. And so you decide to take a left at one point another point, you go right, and you aren't sure exactly where you are, but you have a mild idea, and the path continues to narrow, and you're walking over fallen branches, fallen trees, And pretty soon it's so narrow that the branches of the trees around the path are overarching the actual path and you have to move these branches out of the way. And you're starting to feel a little bit fearful, a little bit nervous. Did you make the right choice? Are you going the right way? These are thoughts that you wonder. So you continue on, but you can feel the nervousness in your body, maybe in your shoulders, in your heart rate. in your chest. And you are still experiencing this narrowness of the path. It's now just one shoe length wide. And As you're pushing away one of the branches to make way for yourself to pass, you take a few of the needles into your hand and you feel that roughness, that softness of these pine needles. And you smash them in your fingers and lift them to your nose and 
smell, take a deep inhale, and you smell this pungent pine smell. And as you're pausing here, taking a few deep breaths, you begin to hear different birds singing in the distance. And you begin to even notice the sound of water, like a very gentle stream. And you just start to feel a sense of reassurance. And you look to the right and to the left and up and down. And you just take in this narrow path and the richness that surrounds you. When you look up at the sky, you notice there's different variances of gray, different gradients of gray. And you hone in on the subtlety of the earth beneath you, the trees around you. And you start to feel this deep truth. But there's never really a wrong choice. As long as our choices are flexible, Every choice is the right choice because all choices can change. So you know that if you decide, you could turn around and just go back to where you started. Or you could choose to continue on and see what's ahead. There is no bad choice, there's different choices that lead to different places. And you feel a sense of relief and calm. Knowing either way is the right way. So you look ahead and you decide to continue on and just see if maybe this path might change. So you're leaping over different logs and branches and you're having a little more fun with it. You're feeling like you're really a part of the forest in a different way. As if you were a little field mouse or some kind of animal on the floor of the forest really feeling integrated in a part of the forest as you're surrounded, encompassed, enveloped by the forest. So you continue to walk along and you look ahead. You notice that the path is actually getting a little bit wider. And that excites you, so you decide to move a little faster and you can feel your clothes moving differently on your skin and you feel your muscles and blood starts pumping and you're not, you're just maintaining a nice, even breath. It's a very calm, but you feel energetic, you feel vibrant. You notice the flush on your cheeks and the heat in your skin. So you walk ahead quickly 
and the path's getting wider and wider and you're seeing more sky and space between the trees and eventually you stumble into a beautiful clearing that's surrounded by trees, this field of grass. And you feel extremely safe and a distinct sense of belonging. You think about all the animals that have rested in this field and even other people that have discovered it and found peace in this field and there's this sense of connection to the earth, to those that have come before you, to the animals. sky, the place, and so you walk very slowly toward the center of this meadow, and there's a mixture of grasses rustling as you walk, and you smell that fresh, clean smell of wild grass, and you put your hand at your side, and let your fingers rustle through the grass and it's soft. And you continue to walk very slowly toward the center of this beautiful meadow. You look up this big sky. And you feel completely at peace. Your body is at peace. Your breath is at peace. Your mind and your thoughts are at peace. Your emotions are at peace. And your heart is at peace. And as you lie here, you feel a deep connection to the earth underneath you. And as you inhale, you feel the earth of this peaceful, spacious meadow rising from your back body through the side body up and out of the front body and then hovering above you and returning back to the earth. And there's this cycle of on an inhale, drawing the earth and all of its resources, all of its beauty, its peace, into your whole body. And as it passes through, it takes pieces of yourself, of your energy, with it. it, hovers above you, and on an exhale, you give back to the earth. Inhale, you receive the earth energy, the meadow energy, exhale, you give your energy to the earth, your heart, your love, your consciousness, and you 
sense this cycle of giving and taking, of receiving and giving, receiving and giving. And as your body becomes saturated by earth energy, by the energy of this ancient place, you ask yourself, what else could be explored in this meadow, this place of stillness? this place of belonging and connection. What else can be discovered here? How do I sense belonging in my body? How do I sense belonging in my breath? How do I sense belonging in my thoughts? How do I sense belonging in my emotions. How do I sense belonging in my heart? And you continue to explore and feel and rest. Eventually, you find yourself back to a seated position in the field. You stand up, gracefully bow to the earth to this place. And begin to walk on the same path that you took to get here. And you see it narrow over time. But it doesn't affect you in the same way. You push away the branches and keep walking until you find yourself at the beginning. <laughs>